Hey everybody, um, my name is Allie Chandler and I will be your lab instructor this semester for Bio One Lab. Um, I thought this might be easier so that you can at least put a face with the name um, that you're seeing on your schedule and on the syllabus um, since this week is kind of off. Um, next week probably will also be virtual slash online. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for that yet. If I can do a demonstration, I will and send you out a video like I'm doing with this one. If not, what I'll do is I will post an online lab onto Canvas and you'll do it and then you'll take the quiz and submit it um, to me by a certain time or I'll put the quiz on Canvas um, so that you can take it on Canvas within the, t within the time frame. So... Uh, with that being said, welcome to lab. I know, again, I know this is weird, but after these first couple weeks, we should be able to hopefully get into our lab because it's really kind of frustrating trying to do lab without a lab. So, um, like I said, my name is Allie Chandler, uh, and not doctor, just Mrs. Um, there is a Dr. Chandler, that is my husband. He teaches biochemistry, um, nursing chemistry, um, scientific literacy, and if any of you are science majors, you will end up having him probably. And if you see him in seminar, he'll be the one running the screen and the microphones up in the balcony. So wave to him, tell him you're in my class. Some of you may have him for an advisor, in which case, good luck. Um, he's, he's a really great advisor. He, he really wants you to do well. And so do I. So I will do everything in my power to help you do well in my class. Um, a little bit about me. I'm 32 years old. I graduated from high school in 2009. I graduated from Shorter in 2012. Um, I have a degree in biology with a minor in chemistry. I was a manager for the girls basketball team. Helped me pay for school. And I love every second of it. Um, I'm a huge sports fan. I'm a huge, avid Braves fan. Um, Georgia football, Duke basketball, um, Braves baseball. College sports are where it's at for me outside of professional baseball. Um, I don't really watch college baseball, but I'm getting there because my kids both love it. Um, I have two kids. They're five and four. They are currently in kindergarten and pre-K. Um, you may see one through the course of this video. She's homesick today. Um, she got sick over the weekend and we're letting her skip one day of school. So um, you, you may see her pop her little curly head in. If you do, it's fine. She'll wave at you and talk to you for forever if you let her. Um, but other than that, um, not much other stuff about me outside of I love my kids. I love my job. Um, if any of you are local, if any of you ladies are local, you may have seen me at Perfect Dress of Rome. Um, I work there as well. Um, so I, I dip my toes in two very different worlds. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you're wondering if you've seen me somewhere, you may have. If not, that's fine. No, 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 uh, no hard feelings. So, all right, with that being said, welcome to lab. Um, my email and my cell phone are on my syllabus. I do not have an office phone. Um, there's an adjunct office for all of the adjunct professors to use, but I typically just borrow my husband's office, which is right next door. It shares a door with the adjunct office. So if you need me for office time, you have to let me know beforehand so that I can get there and get set up in, in my husband's office. Um, you can text my cell phone if you need to. Email me at my shorter email. That is the official um, form of communication between us is the shorter email addresses. You can send me messages on Canvas. That's totally fine. But the official route of communication for us is on email. Um, especially for talking grades. We have to do that on email. Um, tell me who you are in a text if you text me. Because I don't answer texts from people I don't know. So say, hey, I'm so-and-so from your whichever lab you're in. And ask me your question. I will happily reply. I won't talk grades on text. I will answer your question and then shoot you an email. 
to cover what we talked about, just so that we've both got all of our I's dotted and T's crossed. So, um, your syllabus is on Canvas um, under our class. You will find that there, and you will find the lab manual that you will need for the year there as well. Now, when we are physically in lab, you will need your lab manual. My suggestion, print it out. It's a long document. If it were me, I would print it all out at one time because you're going to need all of it throughout the course of the semester. And that way you don't have to remember to try to print it out each week for the week that you need. If you have a printer in your room, great. If not, you can pay for pages. So like if you want to do half of it to start with and then the other half, I get that too. But um, I would try to print as much as possible at one time so that you're so that you're not forgetting because me I would have forgotten several times if this had been the option for me as a student we had actual book manuals um so yeah go on your canvas the lab manual is there your um syllabus is there as well you will need your lab manual it is your instructions for the lab each week um so yeah go on there and make sure you do that before we get to lab now Again, the renovations are not done for Ware Hall. So, I will update you weekly as to whether or not it will be a virtual lab or an in-person lab. Because that's when they're updating me. As soon as I have information, I will tell you. I'm not one to, to hide it from you because you need to know it just as much as I do. This is your class. I'm just there to help. So, um, I will keep you updated and abreast of any information that I get as soon as I get it. So there is an attendance policy at Shorter. It is a school-wide attendance policy. It is in your syllabus. That is what we are going to go by. Make sure that you know it. If you feel like you're gonna be out a lot, read it. If you're an athlete or if you participate in extracurriculars at Shorter that will take you away from class, you tell me. Again, I was with the basketball team. I didn't play, but I was with the team. Anywhere they went, I went. I get missing for athletics, for band, for anything you got going on. If you're a manager, been there, done that. So just tell me, and we will work out a way for you to make up the lab if that is the case. If you're just late or if you're just absent, still tell me. We can't really make up what you've missed for full credit but I will do the best that I can to get you at least some credit for that lab that you missed if you do the work. It's on you to do the work. It's not on me to give you the, the, the points. You come to me, I will work with you. But if you don't come to me, I'm not going to come to you and say, hey, you missed lab. Mm -mm. That's on you to come to me. But if you come to me, I will work diligently to help you, okay? Um... The next really important part in the syllabus, you're going to skip down a few pages and you're going to get to a page that's got highlights, um, highlighted sections in your syllabus. This is probably the most important page in the syllabus. It's got the grading breakdown and it's got the schedule for the lab this, this semester. So even though attendance is not part of the grading system, it is still important that you attend the lab. Because I will be giving a 10-point quiz each week. We have eight labs. You will get eight 10-point quizzes. Okay? I will end up dropping the lowest because the total points in lab is 370. So, the, the grading breakdown, you're going to have eight quizzes at 10 points apiece. Seven of those count. So, I will drop your lowest. So if you have an unforeseen circumstance and you can't make it to lab and you can't make up that quiz, and, but you know you're going to be at the rest of them or you, you know that you're going to do well on the other quizzes, drop that one. Okay. Um, there are two tests in the semester. You will have one test the week after fall break. And that will cover labs one through four. So, one test the week after fall break, labs one through four. Your second test will be your final. It will be the week after Thanksgiving break, and it will cover labs five through eight. 
That first test is 100 points. The second test is 200. Um, you, I, I know having the test coming back from break is not fun, but that's just how it is. So your tests, those are the, those are the test dates. Um, there are three weeks in which you don't have lab over the course of the semester. No labs the week of Labor Day. No labs the week of fall break and no labs the week of Thanksgiving break. Past that, you're going to have a lab each week. Um, and we're going to meet, uh, pray in the lab as soon as possible. Um, so back to your grading. Lab is not its own grade. It is built into your lecture grade. So the lab grade is 25% of your biology 101 grade. So, you can have a 100 in lecture. If you have a zero in lab, you're going to have a 75 for the, for the semester. Okay? So, if you're somebody who doesn't, if you're not a science major and biology is not your thing, that's fine. I get that. I took one week of a business class and was like, I noped out of it. So, I get it. So, if biology is not your thing, but you know you have to have to graduate... What you do is you work your hardest in that lecture and then you do really well in lab because that helps boost your grade up. 25% um, of your total semester grade comes from lab. You do really well in lab and you're kind of borderline in lecture. The lab may boost you up to getting that C or getting that B or whatever you're shooting for. Um, it did for me in organic chemistry when I was a student. There's no way I should have passed organic too, but I did really well in the lab. Got my C, got out of there. Um, so make sure that you do your best in both classes. And your best may not be in science and the world needs everybody to have varying interests. So if science is not your thing, I'll happily help you however you need me to. Just ask, okay? Um, let's see. Other policies. This one's a big one, okay? I do not allow cell phones or electronics in my lab. Not a one. If I see your phone, if I see anybody on their phone, I will give you one warning for the semester. One. Do you understand? Okay. One warning. I will warn you, and I will tell you that the next time that I see anybody on their phone... We're going to have a pop quiz at the end of class. Now, with that being said, I'm not going to tell you that I see somebody on their phone. I'm just going to keep going on with lab. And then at the end, I'm going to give a pop quiz over whatever I feel like asking. It could be science related. It could be related to the next lab. It could be related to pop culture. It could be related to the Braves baseball game the night before. I reserve the right to ask you any question I want because you've broken the rules of my lab. No cell phones, no electronics, no tablets, no no um, laptops. You can have your watch on, but if I see you on your watch, that's the same as a phone, okay? And I will do the best that I can to abide by my own policy. I understand you could be like, well, Miss Taylor, you're on your phone. If it's something to do with my kids, I'm going to be on my phone because they're going to be at school while I'm teaching some of y'all. But for the most part, I will abide by my own policy and I'll be on my phone in the lab, okay? Um, if we have need for timers, I will make sure to have a timer or a stopwatch at each station that we're gonna need. Um, technically, this is a lab, so you should wear long pants and closed-toed shoes and protective eyewear. This is not chem lab. We're not really gonna be working with a lot of chemicals. I'm not as as stringent about that. If I think you need it, I will tell you, bring goggles and gloves each week. Um, put them in your little drawer at where you sit. If we need them, great. If not, pick them up and take them with you. Um, accidents happen in lab. If you drop something and you break it, that's fine. As long as it was accidental. If not, they're... Um, 
there will be consequences if you were breaking lab rules and playing around, whatever, in lab and something broke. Um, open door policy. I don't have an office, like I said, but I have the figurative open door policy. I'm available anytime. If you see me around campus, stop me and say, hey, you'll see me with my kids up there in the afternoon sometimes after they get out of school, um, especially with the Monday labs. My husband teaches up until the time that my class starts, and then we're going we're gonna to have to switch, <laughs> switch roles for two hours, so he'll take the kids, so you may see my kids. Say hey. They're pretty friendly. Um, grab my attention. I'll talk about whatever, whenever, however. Um, as you can tell by this video, I, I talk a lot. That being said, if we take all two hours in lab, I'll be surprised. Um, I try to work quick in lab as long as everybody is understanding and following along. I, I try to push forward. I try not to get bogged down in things that don't matter. Um, I try to be very direct and to the point of what you need to know um, and what's going to help you moving forward. Like I said, I understand that this is a class that everybody on campus has to take. Um, so I try to make it as streamless or as seamless and stress-free as possible. Um, if you are having trouble in lecture, go to your lecture professor. But if you feel like they're not answering your questions adequately, come to me. Um, I will happily answer any questions you may have about lecture as well. Something that I did for my micro labs last semester is I, um, they gave me their study guides for lecture and I made review videos like this, um, and sent it out the same way I'm going to do with this one. So if you feel like that's something you might want, tell me, I'm happy to do it. Um, if you... See, I'm trying to go over all of my notes that I have about what I need to cover in this video. Um, by signing up for the class, you are basically saying that you're going to follow the honor code and you're going to be there. And if not, there will be consequences. Um, just communicate with me. I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty easy going. I'm pretty laid back. Um, just communicate with me. And, and follow the rules and, and we will we will get along famously um <clears throat> let's see like I said if you text me tell me who you are in a text message um as far as anything else goes with the renovations and lab I will give you the information as soon as I have it um we will we will weather this together and and we'll be just fine we will um so again if you have questions shoot me an email i try to be very responsive on that and um, i don't like to keep people waiting because i hated it when people i hate that when people do that to me so <laughs> i try to return that courtesy um so yeah if you have questions shoot me an email if not then you'll get an email from me at some point this week about next week go ahead and plan on next week being online um but by the end of this week i will tell you what format that online lab will be if that will be a posted online lab or if i'm gonna send you a video so um yeah if you have any questions just email and i look forward to meeting y'all soon thanks